Hi everyone, this is Crystal Collins from SavvyBlogging.net and I'm going to show you how you can use the new WordPress updates in order to create yourself a custom navigation menu with the drop-down. This is our blog. You can see that we have a navigation here and I don't need to work on that right now. So I'm going to go to my personal blog to show you how to do this. You can see I don't have any navigation. The only way people can get around right now is on the sidebar. So I'm going to go log into my dashboard. This is my dashboard here. After you're logged in, you scroll down on the left, you can see under Appearance is Menus. Click on Menus. Now this is where all the magic happens. First thing I want to do is create a Home button so people can click Home and land on my front page. So I'm going to create a custom link, womanfuse.com, and label it Home. I click on Add to Menu and you can see it adds over here. Now I also want to add some pages that I've set up. I've, I've set up about, contact, and subscribe pages over here and I want to add them to my nav bar. So I'm going to select them. I'm not going to select that whoops 404 error. I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to add this to the menu and they show up over here. Now I can rearrange them in the order that I want. I think I want contact here and about to be right after home. Now I'm going to click on save. Now we go back to my home page, refresh, and see that the nav menu is right there. Now let's go back into the dashboard here under menus and we're going to we're going to add a few more things. I'm going to show you how you can create drop down. All you do if you want to create something drop down, say I want contact to go under about, is click on it and drag it over to the right. Hit save. Now instead of contact being here, see what happens when I hit home and refresh the page. It's now under about. And people can click there and go to my contact page and contact me. Now I don't really want that there, that was just for show, so I'm going to move it back over. So now it's going to have its own button on the navbar. So now we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do one more thing. I'm going to create a custom link and then make it so it's not clickable. So I'm going to do womanfuse.com, I'll say topics, title it topics, add to menu. Now after I've added it, all I do is remove the URL and now it won't be clickable. Now under topics I want to add my popular topics from categories. This is categories down here. I'm going to select the categories I want to appear under topics. Add to menu. Now I want them to be drop down underneath so I'm just going to move them over to the right. Let's say I want health to go under sports. I'll just move it over again. It'll be right there. Click save. And remember I used that I removed that link from topics. So topics should not be clickable when I refresh the page. See topics, I can't click on it to do anything. Now I've got sports. Health is underneath. It's all highlighting. There's health relationships, religion, living, and social media. And they're all there under topics. And I did it in just a few minutes working in the new menu options for the WordPress updates. So go to your blog, try it out, see how it works for you, and then come to SavvyBlogging.net and tell us how it worked out.